Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Dars. How are you today? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I see a new face. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Antoinette. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Rachel. good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Walking in Authority Wednesday. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys got some sweet sleep on last night and you are up with bells and whistles on ready for the day. Good morning. Well, let's get started here. I am Regina Banks, your GPS I'm great. How are you? Great. I'm glad you're great. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Let's get started here. Good morning and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, also known as the Heart Gatherer. So today, our daily dosage is, we're going to continue on from yesterday. It is get away from the familiar part two. Get away from the familiar part two. And so we know from yesterday about we have to change our environments. We have to get around uh, different people and all of that good stuff. But here's the thing. Change isn't always easy, especially when you feel your way is working. You know, you feel like I've gotten where I am. I've had some successes in life. Things are going great. You know, the beliefs that we have, they've shaped us. They've caused us to make the decisions that we've made. And we feel like, you know, we're a pretty decent person. So, uh Change is kind of hard for some people, especially if you feel like you're doing well. Well, God wants to change your beliefs. You know what I mean? He wants you to believe what he believes. He wants you to believe the word of God. He wants you to get away from the beliefs that you um, have based on your parents, based on your environment, and based on your own experiences. God is calling us all up to a higher level, up to new heights, um, and that place that's unfamiliar to you. And so today we're going to continue on, on, you know, let go of the familiar and getting away from the familiar. And I know it's like, okay, well, Pastor G, how do I do that? Hey, Harvey, Christine, Harvey, Dalia, Harvey, Belinda. Hey there, Harvey, Delaney, Harvey, Donald. How do I do that? The first thing that you have to do is you have to change your focus. You have to change your focus. You know, you got to start focusing on the new, focusing on where God would have you. So when we look at the man at the pool of Bethesda, right? He had been laying there for 38 years. Jesus comes along and he says, do you want to be made whole? Now here you have Jesus right at your fingertips, right at your reach. And he says, do you want to be made whole? And the man at the pool of Bethesda started going back to the past. You know, I've been here for 38 years. And you know, when the angel comes, and you know, he begins to stir his bull. You know, somebody always gets in front of me. He starts rehearsing the past and Jesus is right there in front of him asking him, do you want to be made whole? And so I'm asking you on this morning, do you want to just stay with the familiar? Do you want to stay where you are, where you're kind of like tapped out? Or do you want to go into the unfamiliar where you're being led by Christ? Where, you know, he told you, I'd never leave you nor forsake you, that I've already gone before you. And so the first thing that you've got to do to get out of the familiar is you've got to um, change your focus because God is doing a new thing. Isaiah 43, 19 says this. It says, forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's busting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in bad land. And so Jesus is saying to us, I'm trying to do or I'm doing something brand new. I need you to get with the program. Stop rehearsing the past. Stop talking about what used to work. I don't want to hear that. I'm trying to bring you along, get you out of what you're familiar with. Um, so we've got to learn how to, you know, forget the former things 
and don't dwell on the past. You know, I posted um, one day this week, stop listening to your past. It has nothing new to say. You've lived it. You already know what happened. Now move on to your new future. Remember, we asked the question yesterday, God, why isn't anything working? And he's saying, because I'm in the future. I'm in the unfamiliar and you're trying to stay stuck where you are and I'm not there. I've moved on ahead. And so if you continue to look back, if you continue to rehearse the past, if you continue to rehearse all of your mistakes, you'll never move ahead. You'll never get into that new territory that's unfamiliar to you, but it's good and it's great and it's grand. Philippians 3, 13, 14, the passage translation, Paul was talking here and he says, I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. He says, however, I do have one compelling focus. Think about it. Remember, I said you've got to change your focus. He says, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. He says, I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. He's, look, he says, I run straight for the divine invitation. And here you have an invitation to go to the next level. Here you have an invitation to see a better you. Here you have an invitation to die into the unfamiliar that's going to take you to the next level and we know about invitations you have to accept you have to RSVP and so I'm asking you on this morning will you accept the invitation that God wants to get you out of the familiar get you out of what you know and he wants to take you into the unknown where you're just trusting him where you're believing in him where you're believing the word of God and when you know he has better for you he said, remember, he says, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. He said, and all I have for you are good things, things that give you a great hope, things that give you a great expected end. Will you accept the invitation and go to the unfamiliar? Let's look at the woman in the, uh, um, the woman at the well. Remember, you know, God gave her an invitation as well. And she made a choice to get out of the unfamiliar. She said bye-bye to this water pot carrier. She says, I'm no longer going to be carrying these water pots. I'm no longer going to be fetching water pots. I'm no longer going to be laying with man to man, but I'm going to take this invitation and get out of my familiar and go into this unknown, go into this place where he said, if I take this water, that I'll never thirst again. And so she got out of the familiar and she went from laying with man to man to telling everybody about the man that changed her life. She started saying, come see a man that made all things things new. Come see a man that changed my life with just a word. And so I'm saying to you, will you accept this invitation or will you stay in the familiar? Will you stay where you are? Will you stay with, you know, I'm good where I am or will you accept the invitation that God is giving you? He wants you to have a better life. He wants you to see this new thing that he's doing. And so you, we gotta, we gotta make a conscious decision on this morning that I'm moving forward, that I'm no longer going back. And so he wants to do the same for you that he did for that woman at the well. He wants you to take this drink of water where you'll never thirst again. He wants you to take this invitation to a better life. You've got to accept the invitation that God is giving you on this morning. Don't you be like that man at the pool of Bethesda to start giving Jesus all of these excuses. Get it. Jesus is right in your face. He's right in your space. He's extending his hand to you telling you come on and go to this place come on and get out of Lodabar and go to Goshen come on and get into a land of milk and honey and he can only do that if you're open to change the focus and so I'm gonna let's wrap this thing up and so we got to stop thinking about you know our past victories thinking that that's it that I'm tapped out you know I've done all that God can do at this age I've lived a good life no your life is just beginning the best is yet to come for you Revelation 21 5 says this message version and I'm starting in verse 3 actually it said I heard a voice a thunder from the throne. Look, look, God has moved into.
into the neighborhood, making his home with men and women. Do you hear what the word of God is saying? That he's moved into your neighborhood. He's come right to your home. He says, they're his people. He's their God. He'll wipe oh, every tear from their eyes. Death is gone for good. Tears are gone. Crying is gone. Pain is gone. All the first order of things gone. The I hope you guys can still see me. It says, um, the first order of things gone. The enthroned continued. Look, I'm making everything new. Write it all down. Each word dependable and accurate. And so I'm saying to you on this morning, can't you see the love that Jesus has for you? That he's coming right into your space. It says he has moved into the neighborhood, making his home with men and women. Can't you see the love that he has for you? Can't you see that he no longer wants you to stay in your past? He does not want you to be stuck. He does not want you to stay in the familiar, but he wants you to come along with him and accept the invitation that he loves you and that he's showing you his love by going to get you, coming to get you, taking you out of your past and placing you in your future. So it's time for you to get away from the familiar heartbeat nation. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to get into this new thing that God has for you. He's calling you. He's calling your name. He's calling you to higher heights. He's calling you to a new level. He's calling you into the spectacular. He's calling calling you into the spec while amazing days. He's calling you into the abundant life. He's calling you into the increase. He's sending out an invitation. Get out of the familiar and come over here with me where I'm going to lead you to the life that I already prearranged, that I already predestined before you were in your mother's womb. I'm going to leave you with this. Jesus loves you and he's coming for you. He's coming for those that are his. He's coming to your neighborhood. He's coming into your household. He's coming into your space. And he's asking you on this morning, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to take this journey of wholeness with me? Do you want a new life? What is your answer? That's your dosage on today. Get out of the familiar part two. Hey, listen, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. There you have an opportunity to sow into this ministry. If this ministry is a blessing to you in any kind of way. Come on, you know how we do these things. Say, God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch and guess what? I'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. to give you your daily dosage to make sure you keep walking on this journey of wholeness, to make sure that you continue to have spec while amazing days. Again, last closing, I love you guys a bunch. Have a spec while amazing day and get out of the familiar. Get over there where God will have you. See you in the morning.